Hi, this is John with Fender, and I'm here with Stan Cody from our pedals team. We're checking out the pinwheel rotary speaker pedal. So what you heard up top is the pinwheel going through two 68 Custom Deluxe reverb amps. So there's a lot to talk about with this pedal. Let's jump right in. Stan, if you want to take us through. Thanks, John. So this is Fender's rotary speaker emulator pedal. And as you know, rotary speakers have typically been used with organs for a very long time. There are different types of rotary speakers from like the 122 type, 145 type, which have a separate rotating high frequency horn and a lower low frequency drum to Fender's own vibratone speaker in the 60s made famous by a lot of blues guitar players. Absolutely. And uh, that just uses a single rotor. So this pedal uh, can do all three types of those things. The way we went after it in the pedal is it's divided into two sections. In the case of the organ speakers, the 122 and 145, they have a tube power amplifier in there that provides a really rich character. And when you get into it, when you drive it hard, it has a really lush, beautiful harmonic sure. distortion. So part of this pedal, these three knobs are set up to be able to emulate that. So there's a drive control, a tone control, and a level control just for the power amp. It can go from completely clean to kind of a soft, grindy distortion. Mm -hmm. And then on the other half of the pedal is dedicated towards the mechanical speaker portion. So there are controls for fast and slow speeds. There's a ramp time control to get from one to the other. There's the type switch that goes 122 at the top, 145 in the middle, and vibratone at the bottom. And then there's our dynamic sensitivity control uh, that allows the pedal to switch speeds automatically from your playing. Below that, there's a foot switch for the manually changing it from slow to fast. And of course, a bypass foot switch and the beautiful Fender amp tool. Absolutely. And then we have stereo inputs and outputs. Yeah, true stereo yeah. input and output. On the back, uh, there are switches for turning the LEDs on and off. There's a voicing switch, which is cool because it sets it up to make the pedal sound better in a guitar rig kind of mm -hmm. context or in a keyboard rig kind of context. Yeah. It changes the voicing. There's a dynamics on off switch. And then lastly, there's an expression pedal jack on the side. And you can plug into it either an expression pedal or a one button foot switch. There's a little switch on the back that determines which of those things it is. In the case of an expression pedal, you can manually vary the speed of the pedal by where you set the expression right. pedal. In the case of a foot switch, you can just toggle it from fast to slow. Right. So I think all that's left to do now is to hear the pedal. So why don't we get everything set up and we'll run through some sounds. Sounds great. All right. So there's your look at the Fender Pinwheel Rotary Speaker Simulator pedal. It's great for guitar players, great for keyboard players, true stereo in and out, a lot of fun sounds in a small box. I agree. So you can check out the Pinwheel and the full line of Fender pedals at Fender.com. You can stay tuned here for more videos, but for now, I'm going to play out.